Good morning, everyone. This is Dan O'Sullivan with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, February the 20th, presented by Mercury. We're going to spend some time with Josh Heron on Logan Martin and Lay Lake. We're going to talk to our buddy Tom Ott for Gunnersville, and then we've picked up some information for Neely Henry and Weiss Lake from some local friends that we're going to share with you here. Um, stay tuned. We'll try to help you catch a few more fish. Good morning, everyone. This is Dan O'Sullivan with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, February the 20th, presented by Mercury. We're going to head on down with our good friend Josh Heron from Reaction Innovations down there in Lay Lake Land and Logan Martin. Josh, tell us what's going on at Logan Martin these days. Man, fishing's not terrible. It's definitely not great. You're not going to go have great big number days. Uh, there's still fish to be caught. you got a lot of smaller spotted bass and stripers and all pushing bait in the back of some of these coves and uh i mean it's just traditional wintertime fishing right now we got a lot of really cold runoff from this weather we've had so you're going to see water temps in 47 48 49 i mean it is it is cold yes it is so uh i've been spending most of my time at lay lake it's a little better um but at lay you get a lot more of that whole vertical fishing they're not, I'm not talking about drop shots and stuff like that. I'm talking about vertical walls, bluff ends, stuff like that, that these fish can really relate to, especially with this influx of current we've had. Uh, single swim baits, really good right now if you can find water clear enough for it. If not, uh, bladed jigs, scroungers, anything you can really kind of park the boat right against a wall and fish straight down it is where I've been spending most of my time at. Do you seem to like the inside channel bends or the outside channel bends? Which way? Man, I don't want outside. I mean, you got fish that don't want to eat right now, and current's a great equalizer. I don't care whether it's warm current or cold current. So I'm, I traditionally look at outside bends. Yeah, because it seems like this time of the year with the, the cold water, the current might, you know, actually make them have to work a little bit harder. But you're right. It doesn't matter. The moment that water starts flowing, the dinner bell rings. Um, well, current positions fish for us better than it does them it, it just makes fish a lot more predictable you can go down a place and if you can learn to read water it, it's pretty much a road map to what you need to do so you're finding them tight to the hard walls or yeah and that and that's where the current's really shining when when alabama power really cranks these turbines up with this water influx those fish can't sit out there 20 feet off that wall in 14 to 15,000 cubic foot of flow in La La Land. It really puts them tight, and that's when casting becomes key. You want to make sure every cast hits the bank, it hits whatever you're throwing at. It needs to land straight on it. Well, man, we appreciate it. Thanks for the information as always, and we look forward to talking to you again next week. Thanks, man. Good morning, everyone. This is Dan O'Sullivan with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, February the 20th for Neely Henry and Weiss Lake, presented by Mercury. We talked to a few people that have gone spent some time out there on Neely Henry, and I got to tell you, folks, it's been very, very tough. The cold, the cold snap that we've had, the extra water that's come into the system with the heavy rains that we've had, a couple inches of rain over the last few days has really muddied up the creeks. There's a lot of dirty water coming in, and we actually, one of the better fishermen we know, he shall remain nameless. Actually went out for a couple hours yesterday and didn't get a bite. Um, and that's pretty that's uh, pretty typical of right now, especially with the mud. When the water's cold, you can still catch a few fish. They will gang up. You can throw lipless crankbaits. You can throw jackhammers and other, you know, thunder crickets and stuff like that, your bladed jigs, and be able to catch a few fish, maybe even a shallow run and crankbait in water six foot or less around some hard cover. But you throw muddy water into that cold and it's going to be tough. Uh, what we would suggest trying right now is to flip a big jig next to wood cover, but you're going to have to fish slowly. The moving bait bite may not be the, the most effective thing until the water starts to clear. Um, and you may have to spend a little bit more time out on the main channel right now to be able to try to catch a few fish. But again, look for seawalls rock piles, some of that kind of stuff, and, 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 and fish methodically, even if you're using moving baits. But it's probably going to be a little bit tough right now um, until the water starts to clear up. Uh, Weiss Lake, Jamie Collette here from Bucks Island, one of our salespeople and an avid bass fisherman, said the best thing to do on Weiss right now is to go up 
uh, shallow and throw a big bladed spinnerbait uh, slowly around wood cover. Expect a few bites, not a lot, but be careful when you're running around up there because there's going to be an awful lot of wood visible. And if there's a lot of wood visible, stumps and such, you may not see the other stuff that was three, four, five foot deeper uh, the other when the water was uh, up, but the water's down right now. So you want to be really careful navigating up there. Stay on your stay in your, your channels and, and go slowly when you get off to go fishing. But fish slow. When the water's muddy, you might have to go real tight to cover. Uh, flip a big jig, uh, but fish it slowly. You want some pressure waves in the water to make the fish respond. But you may have to let that thing soak for a while. But that's your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, February the 20th for Neely Henry and Weiss Lake, presented by Mercury. Good morning, everyone. This is Dan O'Sullivan with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report, presented by Mercury for Saturday, February the 20th. We're going to head on up to that icy pond up there in the mountains, up there at Lake Gunnersville with our friend Tom Ott. Tom, I know you and St. Jennifer, despite the cold, you're probably out there throwing a few baits out there in the water looking for some big largemouth. Oh, absolutely. Of course we are, Dano. You know, uh, <laughs> I, I guess sometimes ignorance has no bounds. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, you know, uh, it's uh, that time of year. I mean, we're getting the uh, we're getting longer days. The fish are definitely reacting to it. Uh, but, uh, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect to go out and catch 15 or 20 or 30 fish a day, but I mean, there's definitely still biting. Um, again, uh, you know, the shallow bite seems to be where it's all at. Uh, I think the, uh, you know, the Toyota series went through and, and those guys really kind of, uh, didn't have a great tournament, but they were able to catch some good fish, you know, definitely, uh, you know, at least, uh, given the conditions, I would say. So, uh, you know, but it, I think right now, you know, the key is definitely in that four to five foot range. Grass flats were, you know, we heard a lot about that. We even heard some guys that were catching some fish out deep, uh, you know, fishing those flats on the river channel, those kind of things. Uh, you know, so the fish are definitely going where they need to be and where they want to go. Uh, we're just not seeing big, you know, just those hundred fish days like we're, you know, accustomed to around here anyway. So, uh, you know, it, it's you're just gonna have to go out there and spend your time. Go out there and make a lot of casts. Uh, lipless crankbait. It's obviously the, the vibrating jig is really a big deal. I've been uh, and that's just gets stronger. Uh, you know, at least until after the spawn. Um, it's it's gunners will fishing in the winter time at its finest right now. Well, anytime anytime you get a cold snap that really starts to drop that water, especially when the fish are starting to move. I know that'll have an impact on things. Um, and yes, the lipless crankbait, especially in the drains and the ditches and some of those little little cuts off the main channel, those kind of things are going to be good. Uh, Tom, as always, we always appreciate what you're doing to help us out. We know you guys are out there flailing away at the water, trying to make things froth up and catch a few. And we appreciate you and Miss St. Jennifer, as I like to call her, having a great time. Thanks for spending some time with us. Well, you guys are great down there at Bucks Island. We sure do appreciate it. And, uh, you know, that mercury's running great and just can't wait for uh, some warmer weather to get here. Yeah, well, we certainly hope we don't see you because that means it's broke. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. I hear you guys. You have a great one. Well, that'll do it for our Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, February the 20th, presented by Mercury. Thanks for spending some time with us. As always, we appreciate everything that you do to help make Bucks Island one of the best places around. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow what we do on our social media channels and you'll get notified whenever we go live with anything and also anytime you need tackle for any of these great bodies of water to be able to put a few more fish in the boat, don't, don't forget to stop by and visit us at the loft here at Bucks Island where we'll try to do everything we can to get you the gear you need to catch a few more fish.